Hey everyone, and welcome back to another HitFilm Express tutorial. Today, you will be learning about what HitFilm is and how to use it for complete beginners. I rate the difficulty of this tutorial video 1 out of 5 stars because it is supposed to be meant for complete beginners. Today, you are going to be learning how to install HitFilm Express, how to import videos and audio, what a composite shot is, and how to use effects. I made a video similar to this literally over a year ago, and it's not really well explained, so here is an updated tutorial. Alright, let's jump straight into the video. What is HitFilm Express? And is it actually free? Yes, HitFilm Express is a free editing software similar to Adobe's products. It doesn't have all the advanced tools available in the pro version, but for simple video editing and VFX works, this is one of the best. How do I install a HitFilm Express? Go to fxhome.com, I will link that in the description, and create an account. You will need to register an account or else there will be a big watermark when you export your video. There should be a download button that you can find on the website as well. What version of HitFilm do I use? I use HitFilm Express 12 because it is a software that I am most familiar with. I will also put the link of HitFilm Express 12 in the description. Alright, let's actually get into the software now. So when you first open up HitFilm Express, this should be the screen that you see. To create a new project, go to File, New, and you should see this screen. Now you don't really need to tweak any of this, but you can if you want. I usually just leave it all as normal, with 60 FPS and the width and height all default. So then, click Start Editing. To import video and audio files, click this import button on the left side. Now this will bring up your files, but it won't show up on this recording. So then you can just select any video or audio file, and then bring them inside of HitFilm Express. Next, we're going to be learning about composite shots. Composite shots are used for sophisticated visual effects, motion graphics, and color grading. They can have complex layering of videos, images, and other assets, and you can animate all your properties. Simple way of explaining it is just composite shots are where you'll create your visual effects and motion graphics. You can have multiple composite shots into one project. To create a new composite shot, click this new button and select composite shot. Now this should come up and you can change the name and change like the template and the duration. So you want to set this duration to be how long you want your video to be. So I'm just going to do 10 minutes. 10, 10 minutes right there. So duration instead of 10 minutes, you can leave all of this normally as it is and select OK. So now it will create your composite shot for you. Now this is what the composite shot interface looks like. It's pretty much the same thing as the editor, except when you drag things in, they show as like multiple layers, as you can see. Another useful tool is right down here, you can see like the landscape kind of thing. Now right now, the knob is all the way to the left, so it's the most zoomed out. As we drag it to the right, you can see that it zooms it in even more, so we can see by the millisecond. So we're going to go about to like right here, just so we can kind of see what we're doing. Next up, we're going to learn about effects. So for now, I'm just going to delete this audio file because we don't need that for effects, and I'm going to drag this clip all the way to the very beginning of the timeline. You can find your effects right here, right next to the media. So you click effects, and you will have this huge like folder of a bunch of different effects you can use. So the first effect we're going to talk about is Zoom Blur. Search and effects is Zoom Blur, and you should be able to see this. Now all you want to do is drag this effect into your video clip. It's just that simple. Now in your video clip underneath effects, you will see Zoom Blur. And make sure it is checkmarked or else it will not like show up. So you can open up the drop down and see all the things you can change here. I'll just say I set the strength to like 100. You can really see how blurry it is, but if it's unchecked, nothing will happen. So make sure that this box is checked. So Zoom Blur is probably the most used effect that I use. And pretty much, you can kind of see what it does. At 100, it zooms in a ton and adds a bunch of blur. At negative 100, it kind of zooms out and adds a bunch of blur. The next effect I'm going to be explaining is Shake. You can search that in effects, Shake. It's right there. Drag that into your clip and it will show up underneath effects. Make sure the box is ticked, and when we select the drop down, there might be a lot to take in, but really all you want to focus on is amount and speed. So if we play this clip, let's see what it looks like. You can see that the video is shaking pretty violently. If we turn up the amount, it will shake even harder. 
so the more you turn your amount, the harder it shakes. And the speed is a little bit different. The higher the speed is, the faster it'll shake. So this is what it looks like when the speed is set to 0 0.54. You notice that the shaking is pretty slow. And now I'm going to set the speed to 4, and let's see what it looks like. That looks pretty crazy, so you guys can mess around with that and find what you like. The next visual effect that I'm going to be talking about is not actually an effect that you can find in the effect tab. You actually have to go into your clip, click the drop down, click transform, and it's right here. It's called scale. So pretty much what scale does is it can zoom in and zoom out your video. So pretty much if the value is over 100%, it'll be zoomed in. And if it's underneath 100%, it'll be zoomed out. The final effect that I'm going to be talking about in this video is hue. Hue pretty much changes the colors on what is shown on the screen. So go into effects, search up hue, find hue, saturation, and lightness, and drag that into your clip. Now click this drop down, click master, and hue shift is what you're going to want to work with. So you can drag hue shift up or down, I don't really know how the colors work, but you can pretty much keep on dragging until you find a color that you like. So I really like the purple grass, so I'm just gonna keep on dragging until I get purple, all right there. So 153 hue gives me purple grass. So yeah, you can mess with hue shift, and you can do some really cool coloring effects in your videos. Also, if there's any other effects that you want me to explain, please leave them in the comments, and I will make a part two of this video. All right, this next part is really important, so make sure you're listening. We're gonna be talking about keyframes. So what is a keyframe? A keyframe is a location on a timeline which marks the beginning or end of a transition. It holds special information that defines where a transition should start or stop. All right, to access keyframes, you're gonna to wanna to go into an effect. I'm just gonna use scale because it's one of the most simple effects and click this circle. So that should create a blue node on your timeline. That marks where the start of our transition or motion is going to go. So we're going to go ahead a little bit. And then I'm going to set the scale to 300. See, now you will see the video is very zoomed in. But instead of the whole video being zoomed in, it's going to gradually zoom in. Because it's like a motion kind of thing between the two nodes. So you can see that slowly the scale goes from 100 to 300. And once it hits that blue dot, it'll, hit, it'll be at 300 and it'll stop going up. To remove all keyframes you have on that effect, simply just hit this blue dot and all should delete. You can do some pretty cool things with keyframes like this. Now if you guys want an advanced keyframe tutorial, just tell me in the comments below and I will make it. Finally, how do we export our video when it is finished? First, you're going to want to select this button for when your video starts. So move your slider over to the very beginning of your video and click this button. Now move your slider to the end of your video. Mine is going to be around right there. And click that. And now only the highlighted part is going to be the part that exports because we don't want all this black screen. Now to actually export your video, click this export button on the right side. And click in out area. A pop-up is going to come up that pretty much just says it's been added to the export queue. And you can't see it on this recording, but click go to export. It should bring you to this export tab, and there will be nothing here, but for me there's a bunch of projects, so I'm going to remove those. So here, um, you, it shows the preset, I just have it on YouTube, 180p, HD, and format, mp4. And all you got to do is click start exporting, and your video will be exporting. When the video is done exporting, you should see this progress finished bar. It will tell you when you started exporting, how long it took to export, and how much remaining time there is but it should be zero if it's finished. And right here, it shows the output. And now this is where the file ended up. So mine is in my like videos file. So you should be able to find that. All right, that pretty much just covers a basic overview of HitFilm Express. You can do so many things with HitFilm. Just go to my channel and just watch some of my videos because I create all of them with HitFilm. So if you want more of these like, beginner tutorials, tell me in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Shit up. Oh, hey there, you're not supposed to be here. This is past the outro. If you made it this far, 
comment one tap gang in the comments. I'll be sure to heart your comment. No one is supposed to know about this. So yeah, congratulations. All right, this is the end of the video for real. Peace.